Brandon Keplinger. I'm the uh, district fisheries biologist basically for the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. Uh, I'm Jake Whalen. I'm the uh, fisheries manager here in District 2. My name is Rebecca Sager. I take care of the fish here. I'm a hat hatchery technician at Raymond Farm for the DNR. A couple years ago, we decided to uh, take on a project where we field spawn native brook trout in order to get their eggs into the hatchery, increase survival significantly of those fertilized eggs, and use them for reintroductions throughout the Cape and River drainage to begin with. So not, not all of our eggs come from our brood fish here. Um, a lot of what we'll do in that October time frame Brandon was talking about is actually field spawn two fish from the same stream and even the same pool. Which this is a mixture of brine shrimp and blood worms and I think I have some mice and shrimp chopped up in there too. And I just go through every day, clean the tanks out and then I feed them. And I usually come back in the afternoon and feed them again to make sure everything's good before I leave for the evening. So this is Ned. He's been kind of the star of the show. He started out as Nancy and then come spawning time we found out that uh, we had assigned him the wrong sex. So uh, he does still produce milk but just a monster of a fish and we think that there may be kind of some something up hormonally with him because he, he didn't produce much it's just his whole body uh, just you know given everything it's got for growth so he's he's kind of reminiscent of what brook trout used to look like before all these uh, human interference and, and other uh, temperature factors that we've talked about these are this is the brook trout people were catching 60 years ago